It's hard to believe that an Obama approval rating could be anything higher than about 20%, but it is, and surprisingly it's varied from a low of 38% in September, early September of 2014 to an all-time high of 67% in January of 2009. Of course, that is when he just got inaugurated as president, and we didn't know a damn thing about him, or how incredibly divisive and inept the man was going to be. The most recent Obama, Obama approval rating comes in at 47%, and this is from the Gallup Poll Organization, which is usually considered the de facto standard. Of course, if you're MSNBC, you're going to do a poll and issues are going to come in 10 points higher on the plus side. CNN recently did a poll the second week in February, and they came up with the same numbers, but the funny thing is, is they were surprised and wondering why Obama's approval ratings were so low when the economy's so good. <laughs> they couldn't understand it. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's because ISIS is chopping the heads off of people and burning people alive, and Obama comes out with a completely lame response, and maybe that has something to do with a low approval number. Or maybe the utterly fake stock market that has been propped up for the last four or five years with billions of dollars of fake money by the Federal Reserve and the credit market. Or maybe Obama's poll numbers are low because the unemployment rate is also a fraud, as well as with the labor force participation rate being the lowest it's been in 38 years. Or maybe Obama's poll numbers are low because he lies every single time he opens his mouth. Who knows? I don't know. You be the judge. Seriously, I'm surprised we don't have an Obama approval rating of zero.